Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So today I just wanted to do an update on the Femi X8 SE disaster. I've had where it's flown away, whatever you care to call it, it's gone. Um, and let me tell you just what's going on with customer support. So customer support did actually come back to me quite quickly. They asked me to upload the upload the flight log. So that's one thing I need to discuss with you. On every drone I've, I've flown decent drone, not the toy grade stuff, but on everything else, including the Mi 4K drone, if I go into my flight log, I can look at the flight log. So in other words, I can tell when it's been, how it's been flying, what speed I've been doing, more importantly, where it landed. If you go onto this one, it doesn't allow you to do that. When you hit the, the button there to upload it, it uploads it to your account. So they can look at it and they can look at it only. When I questioned this with Femi, they've explained that there's an issue yet and the app isn't fully operational. So we've now bought a drone that's not got an operational app. What more were we need? It took them three days to come back and tell me where they thought the drone was. It rained for three days virtually non-stop. So if I could have found the drone, it'd be wrecked. But if I could have gone into the flight log straight away and looked where it was, I probably would have stood a chance of finding it. However, this is the other issue. They can only get the information from here. The, the information that's coming from the drone, in other words, what went wrong with it, they cannot tell me till I find the drone. They want me to find the drone and then send them the log from the drone. They're not seem to be getting the fact that I don't have it. I've spent five hours searching for this thing and it's nowhere to be found. Where they've told me it's come down, didn't, it's impossible for it to be there, or I found it, it's in the field, I went right to the place where it was, they told me it could have been in a tree, it, that isn't in a tree, the area where that it was, it wasn't there. It could have been stuck, someone could have picked it up and nicked it by then, but it was in a field. So the chances of that are quite slim, but it was three days later. So that's bad enough. In the flight log recording that's come back from here, they have said that when the drone was 600 meters away it had six percent signal strength i'm not talking fpv signal strength i'm talking this so they're quite happy that this had six percent signal strength is this not supposed to do four kilometers 600 meters is toy grade for 2.4 gig i mean not for the fpv also in the flight log it told me that it wouldn't have a signal at 150 metres from the phone. That it would have had a black screen probably. But they're saying that it's 150 metres is acceptable. So all that came back to me and this was the end of last week, back end of last week and they said oh no problem we're looking into it. They told me that I hadn't hit return to home. I said are you joking? I hit return to home on the phone, the transmitter multi times. They then come back and said no we didn't mean that. We can't see you have because you haven't got the drone. Fair enough, I went looking for the drone again. It's not going to turn up this drone. So I've contacted them again and now they're ignoring emails. They're not responding, they're just giving me things saying they're still looking into it. What are you going to look into? They're still doing research on the, what's gone wrong. You haven't got the drone information, you've told me that in a previous email. As you can tell, I'm frustrated. And I'm not just frustrated for this. I've done reviews on this thing, advise, saying to people, yeah, you should buy this. Now I'm saying, would you? Would you buy this? This was a good test of their customer service and so far they're failing miserably. It might improve. My next course of contact of course is Banggood. I bought it from them so that the owners will lie on them if I can't get any joy off Femi. But I won't be letting it go. But what I've left a bit of taste in my mouth now is would I trust this drone if I got another one back? I will test it obviously just to see what it does. And I've still got tests I'd like to do with it. But is it going to be a go-to drone that I fly all the time? Absolutely no chance. Let's hope they do come back to me and I can give a more positive video saying eventually they did manage to sort it out and redeem the situation a little bit. But at the minute I'm saying to you, do not buy this drone. Obviously you're going to get people that have had no problems with it. The problem when you review something, I reviewed this after three flights, it's never long enough. Now I've had five or six, seven flights on it and now I've got this issue. There's other people got loads of issues with it. I've then got an issue with my Femi A3 now that the controller screen's got dimmer and dimmer as it's gone on and I've now lost range on it. That's another issue I'm going to have to take up with them after this is sorted. So, to be blunt, you need to sort your act out, Femi. If you, you will be watching this video because I'm going to send you a link for it. You need to sort your act out and sort out customer support because without customer support, you can have the best drone in the world. You're just not going to sell it. Thanks very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.